steps. What is that? It's all black in color, dot tiny, it moves, then stops, then scurries again. It blends with the subway stairs, yet I still spot it, a creeping dark spot, sporting miniature legs, spider twin-like, or a fly before its colors have formed, yet neither fly nor spider, mobile, except when playing dead, Preoccupied with survival, it inhabits timid stillness. After four second intervals of worldliness, miniature creature, it lives by way of crawling into my consciousness, nesting there for a while as a rogue grain of sand, windblown, could invade and irritate my ear canal. I will never define it, only peek at knowing it. Crafty, it will continue to needle and tease and taunt. Its philosophy of life is to elude all labels with the war trench safety of its shadow drenched existence. <laughs> Wordless. Unfinished poem alone in a notebook. The last sentence trails off an ellipsis or a chain of ellipses erasing all coherence the way thinking about eternity blots out the mind's frail logic. Unfinished poem, overshadowed by oblivion, tragic as the loss of a hand when you want to write a poem. The, I dislike poems that end lines with the word the. <laughs> the leaves me hanging. The place to overemphasize itself. The and then blank space. The arrogance of that act, the near aggression embedded in the practice galls me. <laughs> I close a literary journal in a huff when I confront the the left stranded like an incomplete rhyme, left flailing like an orphan in Dickens <laughs> who roams a narrative in need of shelter in search of a hug. So uh, the searches the page for letters, for words to complete it, for a line to give it closure, and make it feel legitimate. <laughs> Thank you very much. You didn't end with that. <laughs>